Welcome students. Today we will see balancing of a chemical reaction. Now we have a problem. Problem is nitrogen and hydrogen combined together to form ammonia. Now we have written in the word form nitrogen plus hydrogen giving rise to ammonia. And this is the skeletal form N2H2 giving rise to NH3. Okay. Now first step is we have to draw the box okay and this box is will remind you that we cannot change in formula we cannot change these numbers means we cannot change this proportion okay but we can multiply it by a suitable coefficient now first of all see number of atoms in right hand side and in left hand side first we have to analyze the number of atoms <coughs> in right hand side and left hand side nitrogen 2 nitrogen 1 hydrogen 2 okay hydrogen 3 means nitrogen is also unbalanced and hydrogen is also not balanced now what we can do we can balancing of atom on both sides there are two nitrogen atoms on left hand side and one nitrogen atom on right hand side to balance the nitrogen atom multiply NH3 on right hand side by 2 we get it. now we have one nitrogen here, sorry, two nitrogen here and one nitrogen here. For balancing these nitrogens, what we can do? We can multiply it by two. And if you multiply this nitrogen by two, nitrogen will be balanced. For example, nitrogen plus hydrogen giving rise to twice. We have to keep it in box. Now see, nitrogen 2, nitrogen 2, hydrogen 2, but hydrogen now becomes 2, these are 6. Hydrogen is now 6 over. Okay, now we have to balance hydrogen because nitrogen is balanced. Now, 6 hydrogens and here 2 hydrogens. How can we make the 2 to 6 by suitable coefficient that is 3 we will multiply n2 plus now we will multiply 3 3 to the 6 and here to these are 6 will be equal now c h2 giving rise to twice NH3 N2 plus twice H2 okay giving rise to twice is 3 okay now we have multiplied by first of all by 2 then by 3 now see the number of atoms number of atoms nitrogen 2 nitrogen 2 hydrogen 6 hydrogen 2 3 the 6 now all the atoms in left hand side and right hand side now equal now we can say our equation is balanced. Now next step, next step we will remove the box N2 plus twice H2 giving rise to twice and H3. Okay. Now our balancing is complete, but our reaction, chemical reaction 
is no so informative make it informative how will we make it informative that nitrogen we know the nitrogen is gas that's why we will write suffix g hydrogen is also a gas we will write g and ammonia is also a gas we will write g now our equation becomes completely informative okay in which we can say that when nitrogen gas reacted or treated with hydrogen gas it gives ammonia ammonia gas okay <coughs> in starting ammonia will obtain in gaseous form and by compressing or condensing we can convert it into liquid form also so in this manner we have to balance the chemical reaction now balancing of chemical reaction is a process which requires practice now your homework is you have to practice balancing of chemical equation by taking different examples okay now at least you have to try 15 examples in the balancing of chemical reaction so many examples are given in reference book you have to try it at home and if any problem you can ask me okay